uh, this um, regarding these dunks. Again, I'm not really the biggest fan of dunks, to be fair. I'm kind of tired of SBs in general. And I think the way that Nike has forced dunks down our throats should be studied. Um, I remember when I used to work for Nike, there was a... I think it might have been the 35th anniversary of the dunk when I was working for them. No, was it 35th? I don't know what it what it was, but when they put out those um, dunks that had the, that were based on American sports colleges or whatever college teams and shit. Um, I remember that was the time that I was around, and I think they were done in like a suede type and finish, and everyone was and everyone kind of didn't really didn't really care unless they were like you know limited edition SBs. But Nike have been really resilient. They've been really kind of steadfast in pushing dunks. They have never stopped. I feel like they push dunks in terms of special collaborations and celebrations more than they push Air Force Ones, which is weird because I feel like Air Force Ones are a far superior shoe in that kind of, you know, classic sort of like upper design and shit. But wherever, people seem to be loving dunks. They seem to be going crazy for them. And I think these might be another ones of the crazy ones because this is like a limited edition version of the Panda Dunk, but it's kind of done a bit better. It looks really cool. So this is courtesy of Hypebeast. This is a tight booth um announces the launch party for its nike dunk low that's meant to be coming out soon i've seen these all over the social medias um i think it's a store based in japan if i'm not mistaken or a brand and they've done this um collaboration here with nike on their sbs and they're essentially the panda dunk colorway if i'm not mistaken it is white and black right panda dunks i'm pretty sure i'm not mistaken I'm, I'm not mistaken it's not that black and white i think it's white and black right oh no it's black and white okay cool i got it wrong so it's a flip on the panda dunk colorway so on the mud guard um or on the hit on the toe box is black and i guess on the panda dunk is white so you got that flip of a colorway but i do like how they look anyway they look really cool especially with the addition of the little black midsole and the white outside i feel that helps to kind of break up the shoe if anything so yeah big up tight booth um let's actually scan through a couple of the pictures you got this really nice um almost grated serrated sort of like top design which kind of reminds me of like you know metal sheets and shit with the sort of like you know little lines on the outside of them and then you've also got the addition does it, does it, it looks like a graphite swoosh to you i don't think it's graphite maybe it's patent or leather not really too sure but you've got this nice material on the outside with these nice little patterns with the white slashes you've got a new buck or suede um toe box again this is probably great for skateboarding anyway because i'm sure these little lines will help with the abrasions and the suede with skateboarding on grip tape is always a good addition and then you've also got the white hit on the laces you've got the dots on the tongue a nice crisp white insole um lining here as well and then like i said i love the breakup when you've got like a white base of a shoe I love being able to break it up with this nice black um, midsole type of color and then having it combined with the white outsole. I think that looks really, really cool. And then of course, you've got a really nice bright um, orange um, insoles there with tight booth SB as well written on the inside. And the back, you've got the black tab as well. And again, look at suede. The combination with the suede and the leather. That is really nice. I really like that to be fair. I'm not going to lie. That's a really good combo. And then you've got the tight booth logo on the tongue itself as well, which would be cool because I think... If I'm not mistaken, Dunk Low SBs, and also you've got this nice little tab, orange tab on the swoosh. If I'm not mistaken, Dunk Low SBs nowadays usually have elastic on the tongue, so you don't really need to lace them up anyway, especially wear your size and whatever you can basically have them slot in so it'd be pretty cool to see people maybe wearing them laceless um so that you can just see the type of the tongue as well that might be a cool little flex and also you've got little type of hits on the end of the sneaker tips as well himself and a type of like sb on the insole there let's read a little bit of the blurb here courtesy of hypebeast um let's read the first update bloody how many updates have been there been jesus christ update 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 original story so japanese label type booth led by professional skateboarder um senpai unio okay it's a skateboarding brand then my bad i thought it was just a label itself a brand um so shin what's it about shinpai Yun you know Yano has established itself across the world throughout recent years to accomplish this um the brand has teamed up with various collaborators such as bill blum um now it's continuous ascent with nike and nike sb previewing by Yun Yunio himself the forthcoming release reinvents the sb dunk low upper pairing its texture with the materials of a unique arrangement first the base utilizes a hairy suede black offset with the off-white overlays with a scratch texture teaming up with the color matching lining a reflective oh it's a reflective black switch okay so it's probably 3m that's really nice so you can skate at night and it'll be lit up and stuff as of now no details are there obviously you've got the the owner himself there um shin Pai showing a pair on instagram back in the day they look really cool um i like the orange lining on the inside of the tongue actually that's a nice little hit there and then if we scan up at the update 
um, we'll see here some more pictures. Of, I think this is actually as the time was continuing on, right? In terms of developing the shoe itself, you got more images here of the shoe, as we mentioned previously. Oh, I love the little I love the little hit of the orange on this little Nike SB logo or section of the outsole itself. That looks really cool. Nice little detail there. Um, update again. We scroll back up. We got a detailed look of it, courtesy of an account um, called Private Selection. I guess that's the ones that always get in the leaks of the shoes and shit. Let's see their detailed pictures also. Yeah, I love I love I love that kind of metal grated sort of like design on the top of the lever as well. It looks really cool. Maybe it could be a little bit more, you know, it could be a little bit more, um, prof you know, it could be a little bit more substantial. Maybe they could have maybe maybe actually made them individually stick out more. But I do like them anyway. I feel they look really cool. Little orange shirt on the inside, and then we scroll back up again for the recent update again with that crappy account that does the fucking toe box thing, which is fucking annoying. But hey, them, and then I think we've got official update here because of type booth account themselves. Um, so the update here Japanese label is releasing its collaborative Dunk Low Neck this month. The brand has announced a special launch party in Tokyo. The commemorative event goes out on 10th of November. Admission to the event is free and includes drinks and pizza. Bloody hell, it's only to be in Tokyo, man. I'd love to be in Tokyo right now. And the skating session and the trick contents elsewhere, Sneakers has revealed that the shoe is scheduled to launch on November the 14th at $135 USD. Check out the latest post. I wonder, am I the only one that, I don't know, I haven't bought a shoe on Sneakers in a long time, but do they even sell SBs on the UK Sneakers or is it just still getting them directly from the skateboard um, stores that sell SBs in the first place? I wonder why, because I don't really, I feel like I've never seen an SB on the Sneakers app. In the UK, at least, anyway. But for some reason, the US guys always get SBs, you know, sold through sneakers. I wonder why they don't do them here in the UK. Maybe I'm mistaken. Let me just double check my account. Oh no, they do. They do. They do. Uh, I'm I'm dumb because there's a pair of um Dunk SBs in that fog black coming out. Um, so yeah, I'm completely wrong there. You know, in the black colorway, the black colorway with sort of like the the gum outside, as you can see there. That colorway is coming out for the UK one. So yeah, we do get SBs, um, courtesy of the sneakers app, which is also beneficial because going to London skate shops is not the vibe, man. Those guys can be fucking cunts. They can be so mean. So it's nice that we got the ability to buy these shoes, you know, an anonymously online and stuff without having to, you know, fucking do a kickflip to get a shoe and shit. So big up them. Um, yeah, I love the shoe. It looks fucking awesome. Not really too mad at it in the slightest. And I think these are going to be very popular with a lot of people out there, especially because they're essentially a reverse panda dunk, but also limited edition, right? They've got all these limited edition ticks on them, the the little design on the le white leather bits, the, the orange tab. There's loads of little bits on it that you'd instantly know, okay, these are special. You know what I mean? They're not like normal shoes. So people are going to be all over them. You know, people love to look like they've got special shoes on and shit. So <laughs> don't expect these to be hanging around anytime soon so big up tight booth big up tight booth those shoes are gonna be absolutely everywhere when they eventually drop people are gonna be fighting kung fu style to get a pair of them people will be fighting kung fu style to get a pair of them i almost almost can guarantee 